shot dead trying to live the expat dream, millionaire British exec who bought a 300-acre estate in France and tried to make it look like a postcard was murdered by untidy farmer who ruined his view. A British expat shot dead outside his French home wanted his 300-acre estate to look like a postcard, but was allegedly killed by a farmer who ruined his view, it has been claimed. David Daniels, 72, died of his injuries in his car as his wife Gay, 77, drove him to the nearest doctor after he was shot at his home near the small village of Edon in western France. The former executive's tenant, named locally as Pascal Moreau, 48, and his father Jean, 84, have both been helping police with their inquiries after a murder investigation was opened. After hearings with magistrates yesterday Jean Moreau was charged with murder committed with premeditation or ambush and was remanded in custody. French newspaper Charenti Libre printed a photo yesterday purporting to show Mr. Daniels. This morning, it emerged that Mr. Daniels had been involved in a land row with his neighbors and had become increasingly frustrated with them since moving there permanently three years ago. The Moreau family are believed to have been tenants on the farm for 51 years and used the land for cattle farming and growing crops, the Times reports. But Mr. Daniels, who originally brought the property as a second home in 1997, is said to have been displeased by the view from his house. According to Adam Sage writing for the Times, the brother and son of the tenants, Roland Moreau said Mr. Daniels had wanted a picture postcard scene but was instead confronted with an ordinary farm and he didn't like that. He added that Mr. Daniels wanted the farm tidied up, did not want cattle on the farm and claimed that the former executive wanted Pascal and Jean out. A feud then broke out between the two parties, but Roland Moreau suggested there could have been other conflicts with other people too, apparently casting doubts that the row involving his relatives had led to Mr. Daniels' death. Mr. Daniels an American who took British citizenship, and his 77-year-old wife, were registered to a home in central London from 1999 to 2013, The Times reports, adding that the house was sold for pound 3.4 million in 2014. Locals in Edon, in the Charenti region of West France, had earlier said the men had been involved in a long-running dispute over the upkeep of land. The Daniels own a large area of farmland with a forest, cows and crops. Mr. Daniels, who locals said had made his money selling industrial kitchen equipment to restaurants, had been taking out the rubbish when he was shot. The gunman was hiding in a tree opposite the farmhouse gates, waiting for Mr. Daniels to bring out a bin bag. There is CCTV outside the house, meaning the attack may have been caught on camera. Pascal, described by locals as a keen hunter, lives with his father in the farmhouse adjoining the Daniels' home. The men are said to have handed themselves into the police. Mr. Daniels, a classic car enthusiast, had lived in France for 25 years. He is said to have had an active business career in the UK before he moved. Local mayor Patrice Petty said he was well-known and well-liked for his kindness, open-mindedness and love of heritage. Mr. Daniels had competed in the Circuit des Rimes parts vintage race in nearby Angulim, and was driving in Pau in the Pyrenees at the weekend before he was shot on Tuesday afternoon. Edon, home to just 270 people, is in an area of France popular with British expats. Pasco was described by villagers as a calm and discreet man who rarely spoke to other people. Police said the dispute related to the lease of the land with both having a different vision of what was to become of the farm. According to the local, a hunting rifle was confiscated by police at the Pascal and Jean Moreau's property. More than 20 gendarmes are involved in the investigation. Jean David Cavale, state prosecutor, said the investigation had been opened as an assassination, a murder with premeditation pending further inquiries including the results of a post-mortem examination. Mr. Daniels was pronounced dead in Dignac, where his wife had driven him, reports said. A UK government spokesman said, Our staff are assisting the family of a British man following his death in France, and are in contact with the gendarmerie.